Hello guys and welcome to episode 7 of my Balanovici campaign in Steel Division 2. Then we're going to start by just moving all of these units in our backline. Not that it really matters too much at this point. We've moved the rest of our units already. And we're just going to move these down here to help defend. Uh, yeah, these all need to remain on three action points because we're not going to bomb group partner because the mixed AA battalion has decided to set up, which leaves us in a bit of a pickle because we can't air reinforce Balanovici. It's going to be very difficult. I was kind of counting on the fact that I would be able to bring in the AA, but then we routed the AA regiment here and they set up the other one. So, yeah, it sucks. It really does. The way that this has ended up is a nightmare. We can bring in more tanks up here, but again, it's kind of pointless at this point. Because probably not going to get there in time. Let's end the turn. We'll see if they attack us. It looks like they will. They're going to be attacking my... 35th Mechanized Brigade. Actually, we might be able to bring in the aircraft for this one. I'm a bit concerned about moving the 19th Mechanized Brigade just in case that gets attacked. I'm actually going to bring in the IL-2s, I think. Uh, maybe we need the extra men. Just let me have a look at this. So, We've got lots of Sidrungs. Uh, there's lots of Panzer IVs. We have our standard set up. These are Stralki though, they're not uh, Kazaki, and we don't actually have that many of them. So I might have to bring in this other 19th mech brigade. Ah, uh, we'll do it. Why not? Okay, we'll set these to A, and... We don't have to worry about their air force coming in, so they're going to be bringing in ground reinforcements entirely. Actually, are they not reinforcing with that unit? They're only attacking with the tanks, by the looks of things. Alright. Well, well, tactical battle. It's just going to be a load of pads of fours. So what we're going to have to do is just set up our defences, a bunch of recon, and then just spam the IL-2s. Like, I think that's how we do it. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys know the drill. We're gonna set up our defences, and I'll see you in a little bit. So my defences are set up. I've been pretty light on the amount of trenches I've put down and the amount of barbed wire. We've still got quite a lot. We've also still got the gun pits, but uh, I'm, I don't need them, so I'm just going to leave them be. Uh, I put some barbed wire down on the left hand side just to cover this bunker that is facing to the right, so the idea being that we attack any that drive straight down uh, towards this objective. Got a little bit of like a defensive fortification going on here. Uh, just to keep that safe with the Resvodka and the PTRS to shoot stuff that comes down the hill. Uh, then I've just got a bunch of Avtos all in the trees. I've got the Strelki here as well, because I think we're mostly up against the Panzer IVs, or at least that's what it looked like. So I've got loads of bunkers here set in sort of ambushing positions at close range. Uh, nice crossfire going along, going on between the PTRDs, so looking for side shots. And I've got three IL-237s at the start. We don't have to worry about enemy aircraft, so... That's pretty much it. All right, let's just launch the battle. And we're just going to wait for those Panzer fours to show themselves and we'll just pop as many as we can. Okay, we'll just speed it up. Already see those Panzer fours. Need to keep these on return fire, actually. They might reveal themselves at range with the SVTs. We can pop that Panzer IV. We'll be able to take that out nice and easy. Yep. There we go. We've got plenty of shots left as well. I might try and hit these 
half tracks. There is some infantry, so we're going to have to be wary of that. I can always bring in extra infantry to deal with that if I need to. Actually, let's not bring in that because I probably want to buy another aircraft. Although, yeah, we'll just bring in this IL-2. That'll do the trick. That will do the trick. And that's just the strafing aisle too. Or rip to shreds the pioneers. They spotted my Rezvetka. Ah, oh, that would have been because of the recon. I guess. <laughs> that seemed a bit strange actually. See if we kill the Panzer IV if they're hidden again. I'm surprised they'd be able to spot them. Did I not put down a trench? Oh, the trench isn't there. <laughs> well, I guess that would be why then. Here goes the 76 mil. Nice uh, rear shot there. Now these need to get back into cover. Those strafing IL-2s, they are pretty bad. Yeah, so these, Motrezvitka for example, these have trenches. Apparently I didn't put one down for that one. Uh, I must have cancelled it when I tried to put it down. I ideally don't want my Motrezvitka to be revealed. Especially to pioneers. Those pioneers are gonna really suck. We gotta pin him first. Oh, those run out of fuel. I reckon they might take a while to rearm as well. Even away from that recon squad though, and we're good. Oh, PTRD at close range. What's the penetration chance there? Only 1%? That sucks. Oh, Panzer IV down. Pop this one on the right hand side. I was looking for the side shot there with the PTRDs, but I guess we didn't really put it in the right position. Doesn't matter all that much. Uh, we can move these to the edge and put them on reserve fire. They revealed plenty of stuff for us to attack. Pushing up through the one bit of forest that I don't have an infantry squad in. Not that it probably would have mattered actually because of the HE grenades, but still. Wow. <laughs> that, that IL-2 did nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's uh, actually impressive how bad that was. Uh, maybe we can use these ones. I'll attack out with those and I'll attack across with these ones as well and we can replace them with the party. Oh, 
Hopefully my BA 64B can kill off that pioneer. And these guys need to fall back. If they move too far away from each other, they should surrender. I don't want them to come towards my Stelki though. <laughs> Oh dear. We saved just in time. Possibly. The last strafing run there did the job. Nice, we killed that. Move the uh, the recon vehicle back. Alright, let's keep it sped up. Oh, that's actually a Gepard. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Well, my plan here is to just kind of kill it. <laughs> Straight up with uh, both of my... Uh, we're not going to be able to see it. Alright, not bad. I'm still doing okay. I think I have most of my infantry down on the ground, yeah. I think so. Ah, oh, there is a, another AA vehicle there, an SDK of Z7... 7-1? Like, that's actually gonna hurt. That, that, that has potential to shoot stuff down. So we have to be very careful. I'm gonna have to bait it into the PTRD. My Sepaldi apparently didn't want to follow my order and run away. Uh, so, they died. Alright, let's just, uh... Let them come into line of sight. We'll go from there. Just going to keep it sped up. It's currently a major defeat for them because we control this point. We do have the mechanized brigade ready to come in, the second one. I could have some avtos move up towards this point. Let's bring in a bunch of avtos over here. throw a HE grenade at them, or an AT grenade. Oh, well, that was a bad idea. <laughs> hmm. Well then. That's another Panzer IV killed by the bunker. Lovely. Oh, here's one coming down the ridge. Ah, oh, we killed it. That's good. I wonder if we can get to these ones. We'll give it a go. I don't even know what hit that. Alright, well, there's gonna have to unload. Alright, we managed to get away with that kill. 
Good. Are we in range with the Resvitica there? Should be. If not, I can always use this IL-2 to pop them. I'm done, I suppose. Try and hit those two, and then we'll just evac straight away because of the uh, because of the AA on the right-hand side. I don't know where it is, but since they're moving towards our bunker, Max, and this might actually work out quite well. Very nice indeed. You know what? I'm just going to have these guys walk in from spawn. I'll just have them spread out. It's never a good timing to push her across the open here. That's gonna get shot down. Maybe not. Maybe not. Good old IL2s. Alright, let's uh, actually leave these ones here. I'll move that one over to the other side. That AT bunk is doing well for us. I think it may be a push up onto this hill could secure that. Maybe we could push onto that hill as well. I may as well give it a go. We got so many points. If I can make this a major defeat for them, then that's better than a minor defeat for sure. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter for the position that the division is in. Hmm. Of course, the Gepard shows up as soon as I move forwards. I'm gonna start shooting all these Thralki. Well, I'm just going to unload all of these and have them move over there. Okay, good. That's that dealt with. Move this one forward. This one can run back. Or BA sixty four. This uh, Motras Vitka is still not spotted by the space group. Good. Get these into buildings here to help out. Boris, 
Guess we just run forwards there and surrender that. Yep. Oh, those aren't even the right aircraft. <laughs> My bad. Can just bring in loads more of these. I'm just going to buy them all. So I can just have them on call if I need them. Let's throw keep pushing. We'll try and help them out a little bit. Oh, that's a SDK of Z71. Time to go. That's a lot of AA now. That one actually got shot down. That's not good. Well, eight minutes remaining. Make sure that one's dead. It's currently stopping the Stalaki from getting across. Okay, we've pushed it back to 19, which has made us the feat for them. That's good. Oh, where's that one going? That one's dead. I can't evac it. It's just a goner. Just a goner. Get these IL-2 some more kills. Lovely. Time to leave. That's fine. They're pushing for this point. But because we have the Salki here, we can just engage them at the 100 meters. We can just have a few units of Salki just run out and attack them. 
give me that point back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's see about moving this to the edge and putting them on return fire and see what happens. There is a unit there. Okay, well, nothing we can do about that. Oh, did we just lose a unit? Or lose a point? I mean, it didn't really matter at the end of the day. That's one IL-2. It's all good. All right. Solid defense. Maybe didn't have to use the other regiment. I think the other ground regiment did possibly get involved. I don't know. Oh, now it's under attack. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Um... Well, I guess it's time for the bombers to prove themselves. We'll bring in the fighters as well. I actually, I guess I could bring in two sets of units on the ground, and then just the bombers. I think that would be fine. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do it that way. So let's not bring the fighters, and we'll bring the 35th Mechanized Brigade. I wonder which ones they'll bring. Oh no, they bring in group hard neck. It looks like they are. Oh dear lord, this is gonna hurt. See, this is where the ILTs would have been perfect. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Well, ambushes it is, boys. We'll be on breakthrough defense, I think. Oh no, it's conquest. Okay. Eesh. This is going to suck pretty bad. So the way we win is just ambushing infantry. So we'll use Avtos and Zabelli. I just need to get in every forest I can see and play off that only way we do it only way thankfully each regiment does come with five units of avtos and five units of sapelli so we'll give it a go <laughs> this is going to be so difficult. This is going to be more difficult than the time I had to defend with a group of Germans. I guess if any Tigers do show up, we can still bomb them. But we won't kill them with the bombs. That's the trouble. Let's just bring those in like so. to the road. Um, Alright, we need some more units for the center area, so I guess it's going to have to be Stalky. Put Stalky in like every single tree line. It may just be enough to hold them back. That's okay, let's do the same on this side. Like eight units, <laughs> let's just spread them out. Okay, 
I could probably put some in the town on return fire. Oh, I do also have uh, Resvetka, don't, don't I? So I could use those as well. Yeah, we could use the Resvetka. Just got to be careful with their placement. I can't afford to lose them. Well, saying that, I guess it doesn't really matter if we lose this unit. It would just be inconvenient. Nice to have some proper battles on our hands, though. Just tucking all of these up as far as we can. And I'm going to bring in a P2R at the start, just to see what's going on. See how many tigers we actually have to go up against. It looks like a lot. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Grilla, tiger, Plenty of infantry. This is going to get nasty, guys. It's going to get nasty. Very, very nasty indeed. I think a lot of their units might be mechanized, so we should probably just move up as far as we can, as soon as we can. At least on the left side, they don't seem to be pushing that hard. Although, saying that, hmm, we're going to have to be careful. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chill there. Uh, let me just spread these out. And I might have to slow this down because I've kind of messed this up now. Alright, well, all of these are trying to get in position. That's fine. Good. Well, I wanted these on return fire, but that ain't happening anytime soon. There's actually a big old salient there. Let's fill this town with Stralki then. Put all my units on return fire. It's the only way. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could soak as many HG shells as we need to <laughs> in order to win. I wonder if they have enough HG shells to kill, kill all of our infantry. Yeah, that's a thought, I guess. Alright, well, that's one way to deal with things. If we can get HE grenades off at close range, then we, we genuinely just surrender them, like, straight up. I think it'll work the same for the tanks as well. have to have that one fall back, but uh, shit, really? Pinned my Selkie. <laughs> Didn't pin the Tigers. <laughs> Oops.
<laughs> we are killing tigers. There goes another one. Trouble is, do we have enough HG grenades to kill them all? Another tiger down. If I'm trading infantry squads for tigers though, like that is good trades right there. Good trades indeed. And if it gets to the point where they are bringing them in piecemeal, like one by one, like this is the initial big push, right? So. Yeah, if we manage to break down the initial tiger push, then it actually puts us in a good position. Is that you knit that with? Lovely. Gonna set up the next ambush for all of those units. And they're just pushing forwards like so r ridiculously aggressively. <laughs> we are annihilating these tigers. Why do I get the feeling that we're actually going to manage to do this? Oh, the Greeler shot right in the face. Overwhelm them with infantry. If they keep one driving close, then... We'll make him pay for it. I'm gonna let them open up and kill the pioneers in the open so the Avtos can finish off those chaps. There we go. And we can actually surrender those, maybe. We've run out of fake key grenades, so. Good as it gets right now. Alright, let's just uh, push up here. <laughs> yeah, when things are going surprisingly well, this is uh, pretty crazy. Going to bring in the remainder of these units. Because the PTRDs can kill Grilas, and uh, we'll need the MGs to kill the infantry. Uh, these shouldn't be firing, though. need them to hide. Alright, those Avtos are going to have to do a run at. Hmm, one of my infantry squads there is going to die. I think the Saki already took the shot to the face. I do have some Lazutka I could bring in here. Maybe we'll bring one up here as well. Actually, those ones don't have any AT grenades left, but these ones can continue forwards. I'll have those ones jump into that tree line. This is just a ridiculous game right now. It really is. 
Uh, we could actually push through in the mid, I'm thinking. How much infantry do I have left, though? I have brought in all of my infantry now. Hmm. Another tiger goes down. Surrender them. It's not. Hmm. Not going to end up surrendering that cooler, unfortunately. Oh, blimey. Uh, this is just ridiculous. We're going to have to start shifting units to the right there. We're going to have to shift units into here as well. I guess I could also bring in like AT guns. We could bring in a bunch of AT guns here and just have them spread out in these trees. That'd be another way to do it. Thirteen minutes left. I think we're getting better of the Shitterungs, which is good. Let's take back those points. Well, that actually makes it six seconds until victory. Or well, six seconds? Six minutes, sorry. <laughs> Who knew Stalky was so strong? Efficient shot should be fine. Let's just attack that tiger. Take that out. Without the fire support, that infantry should be dead. Uh, that's turret stuck in the wrong direction, I think. Yep.
Bring the Maxim in there. Need to bring that across. Bring this one across. This one up. Probably bring these ones across as well. Currently 4 minutes 26 seconds till victory. Pretty nice. actually running out of stuff here. Let's just bring in my bombers. Gonna have to bring in a couple of these, I think, with their Panzerfausts. Let's right, bring them all in there. That's fine. Are right, we currently surrounding all of these units, which is good? My Maxim's actually getting involved, which is nice. Even though it's probably not doing too much damage. Did not tell those to leave. <laughs> Pretty sure I did, but okay. I guess it didn't. Another carpet bombing is on its way. Bring in my recon to see what's up. Get these unloaded. Should be a Panzerfaust into the Tiger. Lovely. We're holding on, just about. I wonder how many 500 kilogram bombs it would take to destroy a Tiger. We'll have a look. Uh, I think we're bringing in five. That's five thousand kilograms worth of bombs. Will the tiger survive? <laughs> no, <laughs> is the answer. <laughs> Well, 45 seconds, and it's job done. Gonna keep it sped up. There we go. Victory. Well, 130 kills, 23 losses, not bad. A lot of those were tigers as well. <laughs> we destroyed that one unit entirely. And it is officially our turn. Okay. I don't know why they're all running out of fuel. 
<laughs> like, they're all running low on supply. I don't know why that is. Is that a bug? I guess it doesn't really matter at this point in the campaign, because we have... I guess this turn to win, right? This turn to win. Oh, it's going to be hard. It's going to be so hard. We've got to figure out a way to attack Benanovici with the units we have efficiently enough. Like, So we have to do it like the most efficient way possible in order to win. Well, I guess we'll figure that out in the next episode because unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. we got certainly some battles on our hands, but yeah... It's gonna be it's gonna be close. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Yeah,